Hey everybody, Rich here. So I'm going to share a series of quick tips as I as questions are asked, and um, basically I want to share these broadly, and we'll do these in video format so I can you know visually show what that looks like, what the answer to that looks like, and hopefully that'll be helpful um, as everyone's learning AppSheet. So uh, today we're going to just cover uh, the fact that AppSheet's a data model platform. So as a lot of you may have discovered. AppSheet requires you to be connected to some data source of some kind before you can start building an app. And um, one of the important aspects of AppSheet being a data model is that every aspect of your app depends on a hierarchy. And that hierarchy originates from the table itself. So any settings you create in the table trickle down to all the other aspects of the app, down through your columns, down through your slices, and then ultimately down through your views and actions as well. For example, if you make a, um, if you have a table and you set it to read only, in no way can you ever make any view or action or slice that can write to that table because at the table level, you've restricted that to be read only. So keep that in mind as you're making your app and that can inform how you architect your app as well because you're able to prevent a lot of stuff from occurring and make quick changes at the higher levels of your app without needing to micro um, you know, control attributes at lower levels. So one of the, the quicker uh, aspects to, um, you know, something I could share right now too, just as an example, right? In the column level, right? So if I add a column, that I do not want to have in my app at all or in a form of some kind or something, you know, something to that effect. I could just simply turn it off here in the show um, uh, attribute for the column. So if I have, you know, a lot of different views or a lot of different slices and I add another column to my app, I don't need to go and reconfigure those different views. I could simply uncheck a certain column and then all throughout my app, that column will disappear. Likewise, for forms, if I know, if I create a virtual column, for example, or some other column that I know will never need to be captured by a form, I can come in here and click on the attribute. So I can come in here and click on the attribute, for example, and under show, I can click on um i could add context right using a context formula where i am basically saying you know view type is not equal to form right so this is a really quick way to make sure columns never show up in forms i use this frequently because i don't want to micro uh have to make changes at the form level for every single form i add to my app if i know that the columns itself are not there so that that's my update uh that's an update for today. Um, I will try to continue these and um, based off uh, the questions, you know, that I get from from everyone. Thanks.